back again from Sweden in a new vinyl shirt here I got yesterday. Welcome to the snowland of Sweden, which is now is today. Finally, winter has come in the new year here in Sweden, as we had none in the July season. Here it is. Got this much snow about that. The garden is covered. The house is covered. It's bright. It's nice snow everywhere. Finally, it is cold enough for it to stay a few days. Really happy about that. There are birds everywhere, which I'm feeding. Deer, foxes in the garden. Fun thing about snow is also that you see traces of animals that have been around in the night time and in the early mornings here. So we've got many deers just outside of our windows here. We have discovered and on the roads. Anyway, I hope you're doing fine. We are listening to some wonderful pagan music. Some of you guys might recognize it. Well, I've liked these guys for a really long time since the first album, which is the one we are listening to right now. But I only had it on CD until yesterday, when I finally, finally ordered myself the first record on vinyl. So a little thing about them here now and also another update of other stuff. Maybe one or two parts. Uh, depends on how much I ramble on. Um, anyway, you guys might recognize the music from the show Vikings. Of course, one of my favorite shows on TV. Uh, waiting for the final, or not the final, I hope, but the third season that's about soon to start. Uh, but these guys, I, uh, I actually ordered the CD uh, just when it had come, uh, just by chance. I hadn't heard the music, but it sounded like a nice project from Norway there, with uh, a couple of black metal guys uh, that really, really seem to really get into and really try a new thing here uh, a new old thing how to say proper pagan music without the metal but with a lot of emotions and a lot of different uh, instruments sometimes using just wood you know uh, really something really some music that really you know tremble my very roots as I am very pagan hearted. It's, it's very soothing now around winter time and also for me in spring this music uh, when it's uh, winter solstice. Uh, here I always, me and the wife always listen to this album. Now we show their second album as well on vinyl. I don't know if I've shown it, probably I have, but it's been a while so Here's the first album, Vardaruna is the name of this band. Of course, Gal, who used to be in the band Gorgoros, is uh, along here with vocals also. But yes, very special music, not for anyone, anyone I guess, but I love this. I don't know how many times I've listened to this on CD, but yes, and the cover really looks great on vinyl. It sounds great on vinyl. Two heavyweight black records, you know, with these kind of bags with runes on, on them. So this is what the record looks like. Really looks much better in big format. There you go. And also the lyrics there. I understand the most of these lyrics, which I think I've said before. Uh, yeah, it's Norwegian, and sometimes it's also, of course, in the Icelandic language. Uh, just great, 
this wasn't released on vinyl in the first round, so they pressed it last year. Um, here, of course, on indie records recordings, it was released on quite some time ago. But this, I really recommend this one. Really, really great. It's forever etched in my soul, and I'm so happy. I, I, so happy. I finally ordered this one before, you know, they were all out or something like that. I took from a Swedish company, very well known, and I said to myself, I must have this, you know. I will regret it if I don't have it in the future, but I think, I think this kind of music will always uh, kind of belong in my life, as with some metal and some 70s stuff. So, really happy to have that one. Let me show you their second record, also I have on vinyl, I got this, I think it was two uh, years ago, uh, that Christmas, I had some Christmas money and I think I, I got myself this one, so around the winter, <laughs> like I said, this is, I have here the sleeve on, the bag on, uh, back on black, limited edition yeah but this is actually a good really good pressing back on black pressing it's a very nice release this is Runa Ljud i Byggdrasil from Vardaruna the second and last album so, so far beautiful four screen here now and it is a triple Gatefold. There, of course, you have the tree Yggdrasil, which is a holy tree for pagans, of course, in the mythology. Always, always important. And it has the rune there of Algis, one of my favorite runes there on the Yggdrasil tree. It's a protective rune. I always use it actually, I have it, uh, I was to say engraved, but I have it actually here on my arm forever. It's been there for some time to protect me. Anyway, black sleeves inside, two records, I will only show one because they look the same almost. Beautiful, beautiful green, clear green, you see? Beautiful. Beautiful. I love that the, they have uh, different animals also. You can hear the chirping of the birds here in this track. This one also got some horse sounds and all of that. <laughs> it sounds weird maybe, but it's great. And I really, really, really love this album as well. It's great, great, great. Great sounding. The, the, the colored vinyl is so great sounding. And a very, very good pressing, in fact, from Back on Black. Even though some of their pressings are not so good, this is a really great one. So I really, really recommend you guys that love this music, that have seen the Viking show or maybe like this before the show, but that really like it. It's fitting to the show, it's the perfect music soundtrack to that show, but it's also fantastic in its own way. So really nice. But now. Like I said, it's the first album we hear in the background. A little bit more. Anyway, I will move on. Another record that was in that batch yesterday is completely different music. This shows the very, very weird, strange taste of Sara. Yeah, this one, of course didn't have this one and actually some VCLT from Justin in New York reminded me to get this one on vinyl. 
uh, out later on which show that the beautiful VCLT that actually Veronica got from Justin which I really love as well anyway this I got myself complained a while back that I was not buying much new albums but these two I really wanted to get beautiful great early 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 holiday from 1994 of course tracks like their love would the people you guys know that one of course poison no good yeah and the sleeves are both the same these ones and it's um, not heavy but good sounding black vinyl both of them two LP great great to finally have that in my pretty of course I traded with oh my pita from Holland uh, some years ago I got fat of the lamb and traded him for some other stuff still love that one but the earliest stuff in their career are also very good Okay, moving on to some singles I've gotten lately. This is my latest one. Uh, I didn't know this one, but I saw Godly Cream, of course. Two of the guys that would later have uh, 10cc. This is the band before that turned to 10cc, I believe. Uh, Hot Legs. Hot Legs. Neanderthal Man and a greater track on the B side here. You didn't like it because you didn't think of it, man. You didn't think of it. There you go, on the capital. Beautiful for less than a buck. I got this one. So really nice. Another one I got, uh, I took a chance on uh, some weeks ago. The John Russell Band said it's my song. This is on Negram in Holland from 1977. Turned out to be pretty, pretty good uh, funk soul. Funk, a little bit of disco, but yes, still good enough, heavy enough. Really nice find for less than a buck. One of those. Oh, second hand. Okay, the record is done. Time for me to lift the needle there. Uh, some other stuff I have gotten. Uh, I will show a couple of records there at last, last in this video. But a tape I've forgotten to show. This at home heart mother. Yes, with the cow there. Pink Floyd had to get this one this tape when I found it for under a buck as well it sounds great 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 of course ah, beautiful uh, seems to be a Germany German copy of this classic album of course I have it on vinyl but yeah had to get what, that one for the tape collection couple of CDs I got very 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 cheap at a second hand free kind of a best of uh, with their I think it's six albums material of six albums don't have any records by free so I had to get that one this very nice find Big Bertha uh, live in Hamburg 1970 of course Cozy Powell, there. Great stuff. Uh, two CD, like brand new. And a little booklet that tells the story of this band. Uh, really great sound, but not the best vocals in, in this recording. But yeah, still very nice to have. Don't have their stuff otherwise. So, really nice CD here. Echoes. Uh, Pink Floyd collection here, two discs of their material, 
under a buck also all of these cds great great yeah can't leave behind some good pink floyd even though if it's on cd you know that will be very nice to have in the car listen to this soundtrack for a buck mission to mars pick this up because it's in the uh, uh, it's Eniro Morikane who's done the soundtrack to this movie. Haven't heard it yet. It's the only one I haven't listened to. Very fast now. My last video, it cut off. Didn't have any space on my mobile. Only have a couple of minutes left here. This I found. Jord Jordi, of course. The singer of Ace of DC. And now his band. Really great find. Fantastic, really love their early stuff. Donovan, Fairy Tale, also some very nice Donovan material on this one. Love the cover. Some nice American, no, not American, folk rock. Very nice compilation. I usually find trashed. Fill your head with rock. Lots of great stuff. Everything from Chicago and Santana Spirit to Black Widow, of course, Moon Dog. Very nice to have. These uh, records were not trash, they were like new. So that was a very, very quick there in the end. But yeah, have a good time. I will soon be back. Take care, everyone. Bye.